Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Beo and I'm glad you're back. And in case you are new here, my channel is about mixed media, painting, art journaling, assemblage and anything else what sparks my interest. Lately I was sketching some beetles in an art journal and I thought I may as well film it. At least from now on where I'm outlining the beetles with a fountain pen with purple ink. And yes, for those who like to have some beetles, I have the sketch as a PDF file in the member areas of my blog. As usual, there will be a link in the video description and if I don't forget also in the iCard in the upper right corner. So after watching the video, head over to the free member area to grab your printable. This page took me about an hour, of course without the sketching part, which was probably about another half hour. I didn't edit out a lot, but I did speed it up twice. And just to let you know, it isn't a scientific illustration of any beetle. I just wanted to give the impression of beetles. I know a lot of people don't like beetles or insects in general, but if you look close, you can find some beautiful details there too. And no, I don't want them in my house either, and sometimes we have to protect us. But there must be room for them outside, and as everything in life, there needs to be a balance. Before I can erase the pencil lines, I have to make sure that the ink is really dry, or I risk to smear the ink. To color in my beetles I use a water tank brush together with my preferred watercolors from Daniel Smith. I have put together my palette with every color I have so far. I hope you're gonna enjoy watching me and as usual if there are any questions just leave them down below in the comment or over at my Facebook group Bears Mix Media More. All the links and the supply list will also be in the description. And in case you are new here, I appreciate all my subbies. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notification whenever I have a new video. I usually have two videos per week, occasionally there are more for you to enjoy. Now enjoy my process. For the moment I'm gonna leave you with some music. I will step in when I have to say something.
beetles have their first layer of color. Now it is time to work on the background. First I add water to the page which I have made from watercolor paper. While applying the water I make sure that I don't touch the beetles itself as I don't want the background color to bleed into the beetles. Next I add the different paints which are quite diluted so they run on the tilted page. Who doesn't love splatters? But before I add them, I have to protect the beetles with some pieces of scrap paper. Now that everything is dry, I can add more paint right to the edges. There shouldn't be any bleeding into the beetles.
The ink from the fountain pen is not completely permanent. So while I was applying the watercolors, they did spread a bit and became a bit diluted. I knew that that gonna happen, but that isn't a problem for me. In fact, I quite like it. So now I go over again to give them a more outlined look again. I called it a mixed media page, so there has to be more than ink and watercolor, right? Anyway, I did grab some distress inks in matching colors and some stencils. Well, not a real stencil though, but something I have salvaged from the tiles we have used in one of our bathrooms. Guess you recognize a mixed media artist when you see them picking up stuff to use as a stencil and it has a totally different purpose. Are you guilty too? Just curious, let me know in the comments. And yes, I have the real stencils too, but I don't always know what brand they are. Sorry, there are too many out there to keep track. To make sure that I don't mess up the code, I have to write it down first on some extra paper. Not always a guarantee, but this time it worked. And yes, I was counting the letters and then did start with the middle letter.
As you can see here, I mix up uppercase and lowercase letters and I also mix the font sizes. It just makes it more interesting for me. That is one of the details I love about beetles. A lot of them have sparkly wings, so I add some sparkle with pens, mostly from Spectrum Noir. To erase, I use one of the needle bull eraser. They don't provide those little bits and pieces as normal eraser. There was still something missing. So another found object I use a lot are tubes to stamp circles. Here it stays on ink in purple. I hope you enjoyed my beetles. If so, please give me a thumbs up or leave a nice comment. See you somewhere online soon.